Nepal is largely rural uh, dominated population and it's a very geographically challenging country like it's like Switzerland it's it's very got high mountains bigger mountains and and less transportation facilities and other other means of communications and transport so getting any service to these rural hinterlands is very expensive and you will both to the government and to the people who go to receive at the receiving end they have to pay a lot of money to get good education to get good health services to get good uh, uh, market for the produce so I, the, the, the uh, forums like WSIS what you are propagating and you're putting forward and bringing the issues forward will really help Nepal in trying to use uh, in not only trying to use in, in having to use ICT as a vehicle for development uh, for a faster growth like people's aspirations are uh, you know growing very uh, geometrically and the government's delivery with the traditional uh, conventional systems of, uh, of uh, deliveries are falling very short on that. So ICT we see as an important tool uh, for us to carry these things forward. So do you think that if the WESIS process didn't exist, then there'd have been much less breakthrough with regards to the use of ICTs in your country? Uh, definitely, definitely, because WESIS process has uh, opened the eyes for the planners and developers and it has brought the whole uh, issue into focus, into attention. Uh, otherwise, uh, ICT would normally be looked upon as a, a very commercially viable project and very targeted to urban area centers, to mobile phones and, and getting good TV, digital TVs. And, whereas now people uh, really start to understand that, no, no, it's, it's much about more than that. It's about changing rural people's lives on, on a day-to-day -day basis, on about educating people, children in, in, in the hinterlands. How we can give better education, how we can give better health, how we can uh, uh, give better prices to the farmers. Like, you know, how, how, how we can improve governance and, and you know, bring, bring transparency into governance, how we can improve the government's functioning and improve transparency. And, and are there any projects in particular that you can point to that have uh, made a difference to people's lives over the last 10 years? Well, there are a few projects, yes, yes. There are a few projects, but ICT development in a large scale in rural centre areas is, of course, uh, we're largely dominated by the fact that we have to first get the connectivity a broadband connectivity to the people so that people can connect uh, to internet, maybe watch TV on, 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 a, on a regular basis. And uh, the, there, are, there are certain projects like, you know, uh, in, in terms of uh, governance, like, uh, for example, the treasury management of the government, it's fully um, ICT based and, and it is one of very good results that the government is in con total control of the expenditures making, making. That is largely improved in terms of its transparency to the people and its uh, own accounting practices. Uh, then they're uh, changing people's lives, uh, private people, uh, some, there are some private people, uh, entrepreneurs who have gone forward, uh, made good internet contents for rural population. Uh, in tourism, uh, for example, like, you know, people now getting, uh, having more tourists and um, the rescue operations are easier when there is an accident or you know, you can even see your, your tourist tracking maps. On, on this. So, so there are very many things that Nepal is benefiting from ICT. Now this year we're looking at uh, the vision for ICTs in developing countries. Beyond 2015, what is your vision for Nepal? Oh, for Nepal, I think uh, what we're seeing is that every Nepali should have get uh, connectivity. Uh, and every Nepali should be connected to another Nepali and you know, everybody gets to use the, uh, the development, uh, gets to use the fruits of the development in, in the sector and they get to communicate, they get to easily uh, in a, in a, with the broadband and they learn, they, they get good contents that are uh, relevant to them, not only surfing whatever is available on the internet but uh, customized uh, services for the people in the rural areas uh, where it impacts their life the most. And uh, we're trying to do, to do that at an affordable price for the people that they can afford and, and get attracted to and start to change their lives to get good education. <coughs> uh, it's amazing, it's about getting broadband connections to everyone uh, uh, all across the park. <laughs>